चलिए दोस्तों शुरू करते हैं विदाउट वेस्टिंग ए टाइम इन दिस वीडियो वी हैव गोन टू गेट द ईवीपीएन बीपीडब्ल्यूएस एंड दिस इज द टोपोलॉजी वी हैव एन वी हैव एन टू सी डिवाइसेस सी1 एंड सी2 सी1 आईपी एड्रेस इज 11.11.11.11/44 एंड फॉर द सी2 इज 11.11.12/44 ओके एंड दिस इज द सर्विस प्रोवाइडर नेटवर्क वी हैव वेयर आई हैव टेकन द टू प्रोवाइडर्स राउट टू सी1 बी2 the loop back is p1 is a 1.1.1 and p2 loop back is 2.2.2 and this is the four router we have an p okay in the service point of network we are using a igp protocol iss this is the concept related to iss and segment routing router iss four process is configured this is a net id and this is uh, we are enabling a segment routing in mpls and we are configuring the prefix seeder nodes is on the loop back 0 and we are calling the interface under the iss protocol similar way this is the one related to the four router this is the one related to the pe2 where net id and segment routing is enabled under the iss and loop back prefix seed index configure the interface called in the iss and here we are configuring the l2 vpn e vpn bgp neighborship between the p1 and p2 devices so this is the p1 one this is the p2 okay and here i have configured the evpn under the evpn we calling the interface which is connect to it for the customer id device so on the p1 gig 0/0/0 interface here also gig 0/0 interface going to at the customer id device we have called it. after that we are going to the l2vpn x connect group okay and put the group name here and point to point name here under that i'm calling this customer id interface is connected from the p to ce and here i'm configuring the neighbor okay under this uh, point to point evpn group so i'm putting this neighbor evpn evi 200 i took and the target is target number target attachment circuit i'm calling a source i'm calling so my local attachment circuit number i mean the one and uh, remote i'm calling a two and here i'm put configuring the interface is on the l2 into l2 transport similar way the p2 also everything is same i put the group name here i'm with the p1 this my l2 select group going towards the p2 to p1 so i put the p1 name and i'm calling the interface number under the attachment group and i am putting the evr number here is the target here the attachment circuit is p1 remote number is 1 and local number is 2 and also on the interface as a l2 transport so this is the one thing i have done on the c side on the interface we have this ip address configured on the c to only this is the one on the c side. So here we are on the P1 device. Let's put the quickly verification on this. This is ISS. So we have an one ISS neighbor with the four routers with the three routers. And then this forwarding table. So we have an this uh, label entry for this EVI 200 and this attachment circuit with the two, which is for the P2. Okay. And we have an show BGP L2 VPN E VPN on the list. So this is the L2 VPN address and the neighbors here on the list the P2 router. And if we check the route in this address family, so we are getting the with the help of E VPN route type one internet auto discovery route, we are able to get the reachability. And if I do the detail of this route, this is coming from the PE2 RD. And let's put this route here. Here we can see that. We are showing the BGP router and entry for this EVPN route type one. So this is the ESI number. We are not configured the ESI number is not segmented and this is the showing the zero zero. And this is the attachment circuit number is two. Okay. And this is the received label we are getting. And it's showing the extended community which is RT one colon two hundred with the one and EVI number. Okay. So we just so let's do same verification on the PE two also. Okay. So again, here also we have another neighbor with the four routers, and we have another two P address family running. And in the address coding, we have an entry for this EVI attachment circuit one for remote. Is this for the P one earlier? It was in the P E two attachment circuit number two. And if we take the route here, P P N type route will be getting. Just going to do the RD now for the PE one four hundred and let me put this here. 
again route type one this is the ESI number 00 I will not configure any ESI number under the unit here this is the attachment circuit number one okay the label we are getting and this is the standard community here here we under CE1 router let's go the end to end verification let me give this one configure show run under CE1 we have configured the interface IP address basically with the P router with the entry in the R table which is this already entry correct we are able to see that again and we can ping it we have an endpoint facility so the place would also it seems like it's connected but we need to be the direction I've taken the wire set capture also. Let's verify the wire set capture. Here we can see on this packet, we have a packet encapsulated with the two labels. One is this node seed, and this is the VC, or we can say attachment circuit label for this uh, X connector. So 16002 is the prefix seed, node seed is the PE2, and we are sending the from C1 to C2. And this is the 24002, which we have seen in the EVP and route type 1 received label. From the PE2 for the attachment circuit. This is the outer header we have on it, and this is the internal header and the data. Let's check the attachment circuit from the PE1 to our PE2. We can do the show to VPN X connect in detail. This is how it's showing about the attachment circuit. Okay. So this is the MT showing the okay. the bytes packet that have statistic it's showing attachment circuit ID it's showing UVI number it's uh, the remote neighbor we have an calculation in PLS source it is this control word is neighbored which are the label which is seen in the UV and out type one also and one more thing we have an is VI detail we can check also. showing the VPN ID is 200 is out of we are not configured as showing the VPN this is the VLAN we are okay here you can see that these are the auto value we have it is not going any RD and RD okay these are the route target in US now you can check with this okay detail so this is here is the PGP single as soon as you have configured the attachment circuit configuration in the into VPN on the PE1 Okay, I have taken the wire set capture. So in the BGP update message, so BGP sending the update image. So we are in the update message. Under the path attribute, we have in this MP reach and LRI information. Under this, it's telling about the layer 2 VPN EVPN. Okay. Next over this, this uh, neighbor is getting update message. And under the NLRI information, here we can see the Ethernet AD route type 1 is sending. It's sending this is the RD. 1.1.1 colon 200 this is the ESI information is sending and this is the label 24002 which we have seen in the EVP and route type 1 and here in the downside it's in the extended community art is 1 colon 200 is sending okay this is how uh, l 2 ep in UJJ 1 protocol on the PGP for the signaling in the case of uh, layer 2 EVPN attachments and there is uh, no signaling for the push video as now so we can we are using the only single protocol data pgp 